don't even know why I do this anymore. Welcome to Hey EW, I am RJ City, and my guest is Johnny TV. Hey! 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 Let's go. Okay, we've sworn already, and now we're no longer monetized. Before Johnny TV, you've been so many other Johnnies. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna list all the other Johnnies you've been. Maybe you could say hey is them too. If you could list all the other Johnnies that I've ever been, I will give you the rest of that water. You ready? <clears throat> Hennigan, Morrison, Blaze, Black Craft, Caballero, Down Under, Elite, Fusion, Hardy, Impact, Mundo, Nitro, Onyx, Spade, Superstar, and Drip Drip. Well, you missed like 30. <sighs> I apologize. Speaking Ultra, of Drip Drip. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Speaking uh, of Drip Drip, you ever get your prostate checked? Um, you know, you're supposed to when you turn 40, but mm -hmm. the flood stud, no. All right, well, it's never too checks. early. I do mm. it every week. And now you're Johnny TV. Yeah. But don't you feel like with the dominance of streaming platforms that your days are ultimately numbered? I would say TV is kind of like a metaphor, you know, and you can stream to your TV, so mm -hmm. TVs aren't going anywhere. But what would a Johnny five years from now be called? Johnny content creator? It depends on where Johnny's working. Okay. You know? Yes, I mean, absolutely. I could be Johnny... Hey, you won't EW be. today. But, okay, sounds good. Unlike most wrestlers who lie about it, you are actually from Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think that's weird that you, you're from there and you still live there? Because most people who are born there know enough to move. No, I would say the opposite. I think most people that I meet that are from Los Angeles are way more normal than people that move there thinking they're going to be... Uh, huge movie stars. Right. And then, they, you know, they become bartenders and yeah. get bitter and eventually move home. Right. There's a lot more reasonable like, like you. I understand. You went to the University of California to get a degree in film and geology. What were you possibly going to do with those? It's really Jurassic Park or bust. Uh, you know, <laughs> I was kind of thinking like Indiana Jones with the geology thing, mm -hmm. like, like a lot of mineral exploration, gold yeah. mines seismic exploration, but it turns out the geology is very complicated. Mm. And there's calculus, physics, chemistry, mineralogy, yeah. and a lot of topographic mapping, and most geologists kind of just do a lot of math. Right. And I don't really kick math, you know? So no. I decided to go to film, where it'd be more fun to kick ass. Mm -hmm. And instead, I spent most of my time uh, doing wushu, gymnastics, jujitsu, wrestling, lifting, Pretty much everything I could do. Yeah, you seem like you had a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> People do in college. Mm -hmm. That's what college is for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just... And then you said, I'm going to do something that makes even less sense. I'm going to become a wrestler. You... My dad would agree with that. You tried out for Tough Enough 2. Yes. You did not get accepted. Undeterred, you tried out for Tough Enough 3. You get accepted and you win. What did you do to get tougher between those two seasons? Or did they get weaker? You know what? I think they were just looking to see if I was going to quit or come back. Mm -hmm. um, but to get tougher between those two seasons, I did go to Supreme Pro Wrestling in Sacramento. Okay. And uh, learn a thing or two, uh -huh. take a little bump ski here and there, mm -hmm. you know. Other than you and the co-winner, the late Matt Capitelli, you are the only two with Wikipedia pages. What is the rest of the cast up to, all of them? Well, I saw Maven a few days ago in Fargo, and he's got We don't talk about Maven. Skip it, skip it. I'm not talking about Maven. Not interesting. All right, well, you got a hell of a YouTube show. You shit. debuted on TV as an apprentice of Eric Bischoff. That'll yeah. set you up for success. What did you learn from Eric Bischoff? Nothing. It's great. Wonderful. And maybe 20 years from now, you can start a podcast and just say the exact opposite. I'm going to skim through the next 15 years of your career because it involves so much Miz. Ah, you feuded with Bad Bunny. Which Puerto Rican music sensation will you beef with next? Oh, there's so many that I know by heart. Um, Let's know? shoot on them. Let's shoot on them, okay? Uh, Mark Anthony. You know, Mark Anthony calls himself a pretty boy, but when we're talking about pretty boys and sexy boys, the sexiest boy, obviously, is HBK. But since he's not around, if Mark Anthony wants to get his face rearranged, uh -huh. he should come and find Johnny TV, because <laughs> Johnny TV happens to know the toughest wrestler on the roster of AEW. Guess what I'm talking about? Rita Moreno? <laughs> Good guess. But no. This guy here, the geology major here. Rita Moreno, deep cut. You played goon number two on a 2017 episode of Days of Our Lives. Any heat with goon number one? Yeah, big heat. Because it's goon, the top uh, spot. Well, goon number one um, thought he was, you know, going to be the head honcho, mm -hmm. but was not very skilled. Right. So they ultimately decided that goon number one would not say any lines or do any physicality. Wow. So there was a couple awkward moments where they decided uh, 
Goo number one, just you just stand there and look tall, but we're gonna have goo number two uh, say the lines and then grab the guys and beat them up. That is so much that I ever expected I would get out of that question. Yeah. So thank you so much. You are on the 37th season of Survivor. It's a work, right? No, nah, it's, it's, it's a show. Oh, okay, it's predetermined, but you're actually in the woods, that kind of deal? Well, like, you're, like, you're really hungry, and people are really voting you out. I'm really hungry. It, I mean, if it was a work, why would you go on the show and just volunteer to not win the million bucks? That's that survivor kayfabe I'm talking about. Host Jeff Probe said he was so impressed with you that he wants to have you back. What's the return angle? Well, first of all, me and him tan at the, the same tanning salon sometimes, I've heard, uh, from the guy by my house who told me that and tells me that every time I go there, until I stopped going, because he's annoying. Uh, the return angle would be, uh, <laughs> I'm not going back. <laughs> wow, it's shooting cold. on Jeff Probst. No, shooting on Jeff Probst, I love Jeff. Just Decades cold. after it was relevant, you decide to use the film degree and sell your home to finance your own film, Boone the Bounty Hunter. Was that a wise financial decision? Uh, financially, I mean, you know, that's not why you make movies. <laughs> yeah, nobody makes movies Let to make ask money. You something, RJ. Is this a wise financial <laughs> decision? All right, all right, all right. Fine. Tell us about the short horror comedy you did. Ooh, the Iron Cheek Massacre mm -hmm. that I wrote with uh, the First Lady of Slamtown on our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. The Iron Cheek Massacre is about. It's kind of an homage to the Iron Sheik and old school wrestling, and Ty and I decided to make a movie about a doll that becomes sentient and murders a bunch of wrestlers. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I don't know whether to tell you to take more drugs or less. <laughs> but change? What other films are you working on? Okay, we got, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. We got um, William Wallace, Sasquatch Uprising. Okay, you know? so let's say I'm William Wallace, right? And oh, I go, hey, no. there's a Sasquatch it's, over it's, there. It's modern day, so like you're, you're oh. Billy Wallace, work for the Scotland Yard, you get suspended and sent to the, the Highlands of Scotland, yeah. where your grandma tells you that you are actually a descendant of William Wallace. Nah. Then you discover the Sasquatches are running the drugs that was the case that you were working and marrying your high school sweetheart is mm -hmm. in love with the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. There's what else? A death and what a else do you got? What else? What else is in there? Okay, just a uh, return of the alien mummies. Okay, so they're mummies. So I'm a mummy, and I'm in the pyramids. Is it about the pyramids? They yeah. built the pyramids. So think about this, like, ooh, mummies. Uh huh. And you wrote this. And then did you say something? Oh, okay. Uh, and aliens. I hate alien mummies. Yeah, me too. We should get rid of them. How do we do that? <laughs> you haven't, did you just write the title and then the rest of the script is blank? Do you just figure it out as you I go? It's a verite thing. I didn't have a lot thing. of faith in alien mummies. Yeah. You know, I just, uh -huh. I spent a lot more time on the Sasquatch Uprising. All right. A lot more time on Power Bombageddon. Of course, Power Bombageddon. Let's talk about Power Bombageddon. What, what, what happens there? It's uh, kind of like, think uh, War of the Worlds meets Shaun of the Dead. Okay. Car full of indie workers is making towns. So you don't have to pay them that During much. an alien invasion. Yeah. And uh, the world's ending, but what do they decide to do? Power bomb. No, they make towns. <laughs> Wrestlers don't miss shows. When you're booked, you're booked. So they keep showing up. You know what? I could have stood to miss a few more. <clears throat> In 2018, you trademarked Slam Town, then did nothing with it. I was elected mayor. Okay, it's one of those new concept I, I'm cities. The, I'm the mayor of Slam Town. It's one of those. Everybody gets a slam. It's like a communist thing. Is that what it is? No, no, no. RJ, like, so Slam Town is the capital of Planet Slam Town. Um, primary export there is Slam Tanium. I mean, you're a city guy. I was thinking you would know all about this kind of thing. It's a little communist. You're married to Taya I Valkyrie. Think that's I think you're really reaching with this communist thing. You're married to Taya Valkyrie. Hi. Which one of you is the normal one? <laughs> What's normal? Who defines normal? You know what? Maybe it's a draw. Normal <clears throat> is subjective. Johnny, don't you think it's a little confusing that you have a body that is so flawless aesthetically and athletically? Like, pick a lane. You know what? You know, I'm just gonna let that marinate for a second. You do parkour. Is there a more athletic cry for attention? Uh, no. Nah. I like hardcore parkour. Softcore parkour is, you know, for the noobs. Gymnasty is something that we're both into. Sure, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. like, it's like the adult version of baton twirling for me. 
Mm. I, I think we should have a talk after this, and okay. I'll explain That's some things to you. But... Where is the line between parkour and just f***ing around? <laughs> um, you know, honestly, there's a very large gray area. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of have to decide. And I sense we're in it right now. Yeah. Parkour sex. What's that like? Like, does the other person have to know how to do parkour too, or can she just lie there and watch it flip around? Oh. <laughs> have you seen, seen her move? I, a little bit, and Look. it's made bizarre sounds. It sounds like parkour sex is one of those things that, like, you should put on more protection in addition to the condom. Is this making yeah. you uncomfortable? I, certain fetishes, I think, will do well with some well, ASMR. You're going to want to have knee pads, of course, both both people. Yeah. And pad Maybe up your a elbows. Bit. Yeah, is elbows. Is it better to do parkour naked? Like, is it more dangerous? It is more dangerous. And, uh, you know, it, for that reason, sometimes it is better. But in the privacy yeah. of your own home, because, right, you know, it's 2024. Right. And, and then you can lie back. And, and just slam town, everything goes. Oh, yeah. I guess, right? Mm -hmm. You put your head on the pillow and say, hey, do a lazy vault off my vulva. Is that the kind of thing that happened here? <laughs> Let's do a little. Show me a little example. I want to get this. I'm confused by it. I want to get into it. I think I'm it would excited help me that Let's... you Wikipedia parkour and yeah. learned the I term. Yeah, I want to learn some. Show lazy me what would. I mean, I guess this is mostly just like simple, kind of like breakdancing yeah. type stuff. Uh huh. And then we can get around to maybe like a, you know, a yeah. swipe type deal. Okay. Yep. Mm. Just like that. Oh, that is great. Ooh, so then I could, I could go like, so I could go right in, now. I could go out, I could go around, right? And then we could end up sort of like this, right? Yeah. Uh... Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know, I think this has been um, but thank a you pineapple. For us. You're, you're so welcome. <laughs> I think this has really been a pineapple Ooh. in my front yard. Hey, babe, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> if you had to be a new Johnny from this experience today, what would you be? I think... Johnny, Johnny Gymnasty. Johnny Valkyrie Swinger. Johnny. <gasps> there is already a Johnny Swinger. Oh! He's not that bad. Story of my life.